Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. We need to set up some more steel smelting because we need to make pipes. If we um, if we just stick down a uh, where we have it, a assembler. I want to make alternate modular frames and I want to make alternate rotors. So we need a lot of steel pipes, a lot of steel pipes. Yeah. So for this one, it's producing six modular frames per minute. And I'm thinking we want, what, 60 per minute, something like that. Which means that we need 10 machines, which means we need 120 per minute of reinforced iron plate and 120 per minute of steel pipe. So if we times that up, let's see, 360, so that's 30 if we wanted to do, let's say, 180 per minute of the modular frames, we'd need 30 machines making modular frames, which means that we would be using 360 steel pipe per minute, leaving us with 90 left over. So if we look at the rotors, that produces nine per minute. So we could support five machines with that. And we do need more steel production anyway. So yeah. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So I have started setting it up a little bit and we are going to be using an alternate recipe for the steel. Uh, let's see. Actually, if we just place this down here, then I have the distance that we need to place the foundry. So there. And then we can stick these in. Why can't I stick that in? Oh, it's mergers. I don't want it to be mergers, I want it to be splitters. And there, there. And now we can stick that in. There. Okay. So we're going to be using the alternate for steel ingots because it's much more cost efficient. Much more cost efficient. So we'll be using 45 coal per minute and 22 and a half uh, iron per minute, which means, and, we, and we'll be producing 45 steel ingots per minute. So we are using a lot less iron ore and the same amount of coal to make more steel ingots. So I like that idea. So basically we need 10 machines making these and one full line of 450 iron ingots will support two of those. That's really nice. That is really nice. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, also, in between episodes, I have upgraded all of the steel production to uh, tier 3 or conveyor belts Mark 3. So, all the way over from the coal, way over there, and from our iron over there. Unfortunately, the 
production rate for the um, impure iron nodes has been changed when you uh, overclock them. So a uh, fully overclocked node, iron, impure node, only produces 75 iron ore, which is not a whole hell of a lot. So six of these eight iron nodes will actually support one line of Mach 4 belts. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but we do have other iron uh, fairly close by, so I think we'll manage, I think we'll manage. But I am going to set all of this up and then I will see you when I'm done with that. See you in a second guys. Okay, so I have set up some uh, iron ingot production. Actually, I've uh, just reversed one of the outputs on the iron ingot production that we had and made it come out here and go up. So if we look here, this third line of iron ingots were not being used. So we are going to use them for our steel production. And they are coming up out here, as you saw. They're going up right there. And if we come up here, I have set up this. Our problem is coal right now. Oh, and by the way, uh, I realized I said something incorrect here about the production of the uh, impure nodes because I only have Mach 1 miners on them. That's why they're producing so little. So we, of course, need to get Mach 2 miners everywhere. Uh, but that's uh, a story for another day. Okay. So we need to get the ingots in here and then we need to go get some coal somewhere. So let's run the ingots over. And I guess we're going to have to come out a little bit here. Um, let's do that right now. There. And come over this way, and how far do we need to go? Actually, we need to come out a bit more. Let's just come out to here. And... I guess we need... Be there. And go in. Okay. So that is Iron Ingots coming along. Very nice, very nice. And the supply is going to slow down soon because we don't have that much iron ore going to the production line, but that's something I need to fix as well. But we do now have the iron ingots. Now we just need the coal, and then we're good to produce a lot more steel ingots. And I think what I'll do is I'll split this off and stick it in here as well. And then we will switch these machines over to the new recipe as well, the alternate recipe, because it is much more efficient on the iron and it uses the same amount of coal to produce more steel. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let me get on the coal problem and uh, then I'll be back. See you in a few, guys. Okay, we have the coal up here, whoa. And we have the ingots up here, now all we need to do is power up the machines. So let's stick a power line, come on, I want to go in there, over there, and that powers it up, and everything's going. Outstanding. So that's another line of steel smelting being done, which means that when we get up to our 450 
belts were actually our four eighty belts. We will have two full lines of steel smelting and producing four hundred and fifty. Yeah, 450 steel ingots per minute. So that's a total of 900. That's not half bad. That is not half bad. What's this up here? Come on. Grab that. Don't know what that was doing there. This down here is really ugly. But it's the... It's the wall conveyor fault. Because that's the wall conveyor is just a little bit too close to the wall, but it is what it is. Okay, so now we need to get the ingots over to the other building, and it was a big enough problem with the first line. Now we need to do one more line, which is yeah. Hmm, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Anyway, I will figure that out and then I'll be back. Okay, so we have steel pipe being produced now. I actually wanted to bring you in sooner than this, but I uh, forgot to hit record. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I wanted to see all of this in action together, but... We do have iron ingots coming down here. Whoa, the same lag, I guess. So we do have iron ingots coming in and they are running into the, all of the machines. And we have 30 constructors here for making our steel pipe, which is on the belt already. And yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. So, each machine produces 15 a minute, 30 times 15 is 450. But our belt is obviously only able to do 270 at the moment, so right now we're doing 270 steel pipes per minute. And that's all fine. So I did rework quite a bit of our steel input, so you can see up here this is steel ingots coming in and feeding this machine the uh, steel pipes here. And then we have down at the other end, let's see, can we run a, nope. Down at the other end, we have a conveyor lift over there in the corner, bringing in ingots and sending them along their way down to be turned into steel pipes. So on the outside here, we have two conveyor lifts here coming down and going into this little corridor that I've made. And one of them is turning there and the other one is going way down and there's room for one more, uh, which we are going to need, I think. Uh, I'm fairly certain actually that we're going to need it. We might, might even need more than that. Uh, let me just stick the wall back in there so it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so as you can see, this I just made this little corridor here where we have the uh, conveyor belts running inside uh, next to the factory. Okay, and up here, so the way that I got steel over there, actually we can tear all of this out now. Let's just... Do that real quick. At least some of it. Oh, that's too far away. Uh, we don't want to tear that out anyway, but I do want to change those to not be wall conveyors and such. But up here, I have made another little corridor for our steel to come down from up top there, from our forges. Come down here, run along. And I want a door in here, I think, uh, of some sort. Just put one of these there for now. That'll be fine. And then they come out here. This is a little bit messy, but it's the best I could do. And 
they go into the lifts and go down. Okay. So we need to get the uh, the pipes. Actually, we don't need to get the pipes stored up right now because what we need the pipes for is making frames and rotors. And I think we'll make frame and rotors on the second floor. So we'll make frames and rotors in here. If there's room enough for both, I think there is. Which means that we just need the pipes to come up and come in here and all will be fine and dandy. Now there is one issue that I have, which is I'm, I'm really annoyed about. And that is, so we have what? One, two, three and a half left of the foundations here. And these guys take up one, two, three, four and a half. So I might need to widen the whole factory by one foundation. I think I'll do two then in that case. But I think I do need to do that because can we jump down here without dying? Probably not. Because I think I, we, we, we need more steel pipes than this. Uh, we need a, no, a whole nother uh, steel pipe production unit, I think. So I think I'm going to have to tear out all these walls, tear, move the pillars and stuff like that, and add two foundations to the side of the factory. And I'm actually so sure that I will need to do that, that it's something that I think I will do in between episodes, because... It's boring to watch, right? It's boring to do and it's boring to watch. So I will be doing that in between episodes at some point. But for now, we do have steel pipes going and we need them to come down to the next floor. And so let's see what we do about that. They are coming out there. So if we tear out this wall and tear out this wall, And then we'll stick a foundation on there. And I guess we'll stick a wall conveyor on there. And we need to come up. So let's go up and have a look at where they need to come up. I am loving that we have the pipes going now. That is very useful and it's gonna be a big step towards uh, making our frames and, and stuff like that. We, we're taking the huge stuff step closer to, to doing that. So let's take you out. We need to come over a bit more. You. Yeah. And that means that you need to come out and get a wall conveyor in there and a regular wall in there. And we'll just stick a foundation here and wall conveyor there and a wall again. There we go. Actually, it would be a lot easier to just jump down here and stick the wall in. I think that makes sense instead of running the whole way back. And there. We will have to do that though. And there. Okay. That steel pipe's going up, and I think we will put a chest up there, uh, we'll, we'll use it as a buffer. So, so that we get a bunch of pipes made, and 
have a bit that we can take. Okay. They seem so huge, right? And I not it's not even big enough. Uh, okay, what do we need? We need a storage container. I think we'll do industrial. Yeah, let's do industrial. And we'll stick you right back in the middle here and like that. And let you go in there. And we have steel pipes being stored up. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. We made good progress. And um, if you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.